Hi Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week. It is going to be a general reading, so please keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot readings myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay, there's a very strong energy of something here that you've been waiting for. And it's, you're right, it's taken its while. It's taken a long time to manifest, to come into fruition. It's taken a long time for you to see the results that you've been working hard for. But it's coming, okay? And your intuition is telling you that it's coming. So don't ignore it. Maybe there's some delays. Maybe the results, you know, they're slow. They're not, you know, success doesn't happen overnight, right? Results, if you plant a seed into the material world, it's not going to sprout and blossom overnight. It's going to take time. So I feel like for some of you, it's, it's probably, it would be comforting. I'm sure it would be comforting or reassuring for some of you to know that um, something he is manifesting for you, but not at the pace, not at the rate that you want it to. So it's taking its time, okay? So whether it's a relationship, maybe some of you want to, you know, by this stage you would have, you, you were hoping that the relationship would have progressed a lot quicker than it has, or that your feelings for someone or their feelings for you would have grown, you know, that much more further or deeper, or that's something that you've been working really hard and uh, really, you know, tirelessly on that it would have already happened for you, okay? Or, you know, the results would have happened for you. You would have already achieved success. You would have done this or this or that, you know? Um, everyone is on their own unique and individual path and journey. Make sure you're not comparing yourself to the next person, okay? Because um, their path is different. And it would be unfair to you and unfair to them if you were to draw comparisons here, because they're not going where they're going. They didn't come from where you come from. They're not headed where you're headed. Okay, so focus on you because your intuition is telling you that something is coming. But I feel like where your frustration is kicking in or something is happening or you're feeling like someone has feelings for you, but they're not showing it. Where your frustration kicks in is ultimately in the fact that it's not manifested just yet. I feel like some of you are seeing evidence of your manifestation taking place. But you're not really receptive, you're not in receptive mode. Therefore, maybe some of you are, like, you're tuned in and tapped on and um, tapped in and you're picking up on the evidence that the universe is communicating or showing up in your life. But others of you, like, some evidence is there that your manifestation, you know, the results that you're seeking, the person that you want, that partnership that you want to create the empire that you want to build, it's all happening. Like there are certain synchronicities, there are certain repeat, like repetitious numbers or recurring patterns. You know, you're, it's out there, but some of you are ignoring it or you're closed off. You're not in receptive mode, therefore you're closed off and you're not picking up on it. So I feel like really trust your intuition, trust your gut. Trust your gut that something is happening for you. And the other thing is, you know, timing is an incredible thing a lot of time a lot of a lot of it has to do with timing a lot of life is about timing right and just remember just because something isn't happening in the timeline that you want it to happen it does not mean that it's not happening for you at all okay because the universe the universe has it all figured out for you it's calculated everything out meticulously the universe knows, you know, at the exact right time when something should be happening for you, when something should be manifesting for you. And you're, you don't understand you are this close to a breakthrough or you are this close to manifesting whatever it is that you want. If you give up now, it would be a real shame because you won't get it, okay? And just, just remember that, you know, you need to be patient. You need to... Look, there's a difference between being patient with your actions and being patient with the results. Maybe some of you need to be patient with the results. 
but a little bit impatient with your actions. Get out there, do the work, wait for the results to take place. See what I mean? There's a whole philosophy to that. So some of you need to be patient with your results because they're coming. The suit of pentacles is a slow moving energy, okay? And some of this stuff that you're really that you've been working on, it's taking its time because you still need to learn some lessons. You still need to get better at this. You still need to become a better version of you. There's some things here and the reason why you haven't reached the peak, you haven't manifested this, you know, very thing yet is because it's not the fruit isn't ripe for picking. It's not just ready yet. Um, there's also some sort of truth I feel like that you need to address or you need to speak. King of Swords in reverse. You're holding back. You're holding back from telling someone how you feel. You're holding back from what you want. You're also holding back from yourself. Okay? King of Swords is pointed to the Queen of Cups. You know what you want, you know what you're capable of, you know what you deserve, so don't hold yourself back. Some of you need to have some sort of honest conversation with yourself. You need to sit yourself down and you need to have this conversation where you're really honest about your intentions with yourself or with someone, excuse me, with a certain career. What is it that you want? Where is it that you see yourself? Where is it that, you know... Where is it that you're headed? Some of, it's some sort of conversation that you've been avoiding. And it's some sort of issue as well. Because it's painful. Because it's uncomfortable. Because it's, you know, whatever it is. You need to avoid. Uh, you don't need to avoid, sorry. You need to address. You've been avoiding it, but you need to address. And to do that, you need to start by having some sort of honest conversation. Whether it's with yourself or whether it's some, with someone else. You've The seeds that you're planting for something... I'm telling you, they're going to sprout, but it's just taking its time. So you need to nurture something a little bit more, whether it's nurture a relationship, whether it's nurture your talent, nurture a project of some sort. You need to be patient with your results because you have, you're essentially entering, a lot of you are going to, and maybe not specifically this week, but around this time, there's going to be a lot of things ending for you. Some of these endings can be a little bit painful. Some of them are going to hit you like a ton of bricks and you won't see coming. It could be the ending of a relationship. It could be the ending of a friendship. The ending of a contract. Some things here are wrapping, them, are wrapping up for you. It's doing that so that you, it can give way to something else. It ends so something else can begin for you. Or a relationship needs to end so you can focus on yourself. You can focus on loving yourself. You can focus on improving yourself. So whatever ends for you here, do not chase it. Because what's meant for you will not miss you, will not leave you. And you're having a lot of endings, but these endings are opening up doors to new beginnings. New opportunities, new career, business opportunities, new love, new romantic opportunities, New friendships, new connections, new priorities, new possibilities. But I feel like, just want to circle back to some some of you are really working hard. You've been really working, you've been putting a lot, a lot of effort and a lot of time. And you know what, it, it looks tedious. Whatever it is, it looks really tedious. It does. But good on you. Because the results... They're manifesting. They really are. So do not give up because you're so close. You are so close. It's happening for you. And in the process, don't get distracted because I feel like there's a lot of distractions here. Stay focused. Things are going to end. In the process, I feel like it's almost like the universe is trying to test you to see how committed you are to this thing or this person or whatever this is for you. Don't lose focus. Don't lose your drive. You got this. You do. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Thanks guys. Bye.